Chad. It's eight o'clock in the evening, right? Kiddies are still viewing, aren't they? You bastard foreign female! I mean, there's ketchup all over the screen. A bloke's got half his ear hanging off, hasn't he? Disgusting. I mean, how are the kids gonna grow up? That's not right, is it? Definitely not. Where to, Chaz? That car hire garage. Put your tie on. I would solemnly suggest to you that what are really on trial here today are the ethics of a community. Our national economy, even our national survival, evolves upon the consolidation by merger of the smaller and weaker economic units with the larger and lustier pillars of our commercial company. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Look at his tie! Correspondent not answered. Yes. I want that pig pulley. You, Pooley. Yes, no, right. you are, Pooley. You're a disgrace, an incompetent disgrace. Yes, You're not fit to run. Business is business, and progress is progress. Where's your brother? On the pictures. Answer yes or no. Just around the office, aren't it? It's dreadful, Mum. Phil, what are you doing? You need help. Help and protection. Well, we offered it. My governor personally. You had an appointment. We wait you 15 minutes. You Which slag? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You call this a service to the public? Right. Well, this equipment. Not maintained, is it? <laughs> Now, your technician, Mr. Wilson, makes you weep, eh? Yeah, makes me weep. I no, don't. No. It's obsolete. It is alleged by the prosecution that the dividend of 15%, which was declared on the non-voting B shares, was indeed fraudulently designed solely to expedite this admittedly bold, but in no way unethical murder. I say murder, gentlemen. Not takeover. Words still have meanings, even in our days of the computer. The question is, was my client a party to that fraud? Innuendo is a method I despise. Therefore, I say bluntly that already you have heard sufficient to point to the responsibility and guilt of another party. A guilty man, gentlemen whose identity I shall not shrink from establishing in the course of my presentation of the case for the defense. Hello, Chaz. That's tomorrow. Number 11, Monk Street, 5.30 on the dock. You understand? Well, son, how was the clientele tonight? Spot on, Harry. No aggravation. 
What about this lawyer guy? Did you get to see him? That man, I submit, should be standing where my unfortunate client now stands. I can rely on that, eh? It'll be straightened out in the morning, Harry. Don't worry. He's a nutcase, like all artists, but I can rely on him. I know my business is business. And progress is progress. In the fluid state of business ethics pertaining today, we must protect the inalienable right of the smaller businessman to be conjoined in commercial unions with an Don't you understand? Eighty-five pounds. Condition. I put the new fruits coming in. Otherwise, I'm going to pay. Mr. Muller, you're bleeding me white. You're white as that wall. Would you like a drink, huh? Do you like it with ice? You stink. stink. You stink in foreign Excuse parasite. Excuse me, please, my customers. Tell us a piece of the door. You know, I don't think I'm going to let you stay in the film business. With his justice. Yeah, what the... All right, let's keep our hair on, eh? Mr. Fraser, I've got a message for you from an old pal, an old pal and an old partner who wants you to know, number one, that he's ever so well, upset about this right? aggravation you've got. Yes. And number two, don't involve old pals, not even a little bit. You follow me, Mr. Ed? You're an emissary for Mr. Harold Flowers. It would be most improper for us to... Don't interrupt. And no subpoenas for old pals, old mate. And no snide insinuations in court, neither. Now, look here. I'm Mr. Fraser's councilman. I warn you. I know that. Now, shut your own, Mr. Council. What did you say? Do you follow me, Fraser? Oh. Now, let's face it. They're going to convict you. I mean, so better spend five years of your life in a nice, comfy nick than the rest of your miserable existence in a filthy wheelchair. Are you threatening my client? You bet I am, Ponzi. Do you follow me, eh? Hey? Boy? Hmm. I do. Yeah. Good. Now listen to me, whatever your name is. I must insist you address your remarks to me. Address my remarks. Okie dokie. Why not, Mr. Butler? We got his address, haven't we? Why not, Mr. Humphrey? If he insists. Best of luck, Mr. Fraser. You don't intimidate me, you... No, my client! George. Fraser! your owner, does he? Does he? Got a gallon and a half. Better not waste it, eh? 